Okay, in this video, we're gonna investigate, based on a user question, how to make an underground parking garage. So let's get into it. I have in front of me an office building that I made with uh, massing uh, elements, and I have a video on that in case you're interested in how to do that. Um, going into this, we're gonna first go to our site plan, and we should be able to see our building here. And we're gonna just create a top of surface under the massing and site tab to just kind of go around and kind of just lay out uh, just like a plane of surface area here that Revit will then be able to carve into. So notice that I didn't even adjust the elevation. However, in your project, hopefully your grade of the ground slopes away from your building a little bit. Um, so if we wanted to do that, we could, but I don't want to complicate things for this video. We would just adjust the uh, inches here and click wherever we want it to be at that elevation. I'm going to just check that off. And we're going to take a look on our project here in 3D, kind of what happened from that. So we have this kind of plane that's been formed. And let's go back into the site plan. Looking at it. Building pad is a feature. We hover over that, kind of gives us a little preview of what's going to happen, but essentially we can carve deep and down through the top of surface. And so we're going to carve out um, not only through the footprint of our building for, let's say, like a basement, um, but then also like an area that we could put a ramp to get access to the underground parking. So I'm going to go building pad and we're just going to choose the uh, pick lines tool as a way to do this. You can also do pick walls tool. You can also just trace whatever profile you want. Uh, you just have to follow the rules of sketching, um, which means that any line has to touch an endpoint of another line. You can't go past it and have a line just bump into it. It needs to also en enclose a shape. Uh, so you have to make a polygon. You can't have an open-ended shape here um, or the sketch will have an error. So I checked the, the box on that. Now let's see in 3D what we formed here. Um, so if we go down, we only made uh, a little uh, indentation. Uh, actually, no, that's just our floor. Let's see. We might have not even carved anything because I had hit enter before looking at the properties palette. So let's go back to sites and do a quick back button. Let's go to our pick lines. Okay. We just went back. Let's finish that sketch with pick lines. And then let's look at pad. We're at level one. And we want to go down. Let's just say like a, maybe like a negative you know, 10 feet. That's one way to do it. The other way is we can add a level that we want to shoot down through. And say apply. And check it off. And now let's see what happens. There we go. It's now extruded down 10 feet and it made our pad down there, which is part of the, uh, the command. So it not only cuts down and deep, but it also makes the pad for you. And if we want to edit this, we can edit the boundary by selecting it and going to edit boundary. And I actually want to pull this out and forward so that way we can have a ramp to then access this parking underneath. If we want to see what's going on a little bit better in 3D, we can highlight our building. And we can also grab the floor. I'm going to actually just grab everything here and do a quick filter and make sure I don't have my topography. So this is everything I want. So I'm going to say, OK, we're going to group that and say, OK. Now this is grouped and then I can quickly then hide this element, hide and view element. And these floors, I wish I had grouped as well. I'm holding down control to select. Now that I have those, I'm going to right click and say hide and view elements. All right. So now this is what we're looking at. So I'm going to uh, edit this footprint here and we're going to bring this out a little bit. And I'm going to bring it out more than I need to right now. Um, you might want to look up like your ramp uh, pitches and all that to, to figure out what's, you know, code in your area. 